What's going on guys, Propo Apathy back in the building and with another video. Today's going to be more of a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys with a live commentary. Haven't done these in a while. In a while, I mean maybe two weeks, three weeks. It's actually been a decent amount. But today I want to be talking about a really important subject and something I feel like I, it gets asked not a lot, but pretty fre frequently. And what we're going to be... And I get killed. I hate dying in pubs, guys. It really, It really does frustrate me. But what we're going to be talking about is why us pro players still play. And I feel like this is something that doesn't get asked too often, but a lot of people wonder this. And who who wonders this, right? You guys are thinking like, I never asked this question. I never I never wondered this. But there is a couple of you who do. And I just wanted to talk about it because and a huge reason why I actually want to talk about it is because I remember TP talking about this two, three months ago. I'll say about two, three months ago. He talked about this subject on a stream and it, I really wanted to do a video on it and talk about it because he kind of you know motivated me to do it and I never did I don't know why I think I was gonna do it one day and I was like fuck it then it came out to good so I just chose not to but today you know since I haven't done a live commentary in a while I figured why not talk about this this subject something that I think is worth talking about and it's pretty interesting so before I get naded all right I'm good the reason all right so there's a little a, Excuse me, there's a lot of reasons why us pro players still play. And when I mean us pro players, I'm, I'm referring more to the older people, the veterans, the people who've been playing for a while, or that people consider washed up, or people that they, people hate, and stuff like that. Like, I'm not really considering the new pros and, who like, like the 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, or the people who are, like, top two right now or top one. I'm not really referring to them. I'm more referring to, like, the veterans and the people that are, like, always, oh... Sharp, why don't you just retire already or like all that that shit. You guys know what I'm talking about. And a lot of you guys do wonder. You're like, why hasn't he retired yet? You know, he's already 23. Like, the when the hell does he plan to retire? Like, why is he still playing? And then that's really what I want to talk about now. So there's a couple reasons. But I think the biggest reason, especially for a winner, is that once you've had a taste of winning, once you've had the taste of a championship, once you've felt that... That rush, that excitement, that 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 like a feeling of accomplishment. Once you once you taste that once, you get addicted. Now a lot of you guys know I've won three times, and every time it's been the most amazing feeling ever. To know that all those hours you put in, all that time you've grinded, all that effort you put in to finally pay off. And not only do you feel so accomplished and fulfilled. But you have a whole, I mean a whole group, a whole stage, a whole crowd just behind you and cheering you on and with you and happy for you. That is truly an amazing feeling. And that pretty much goes for any sport. But obviously, you know what, this guy's ghost. I'm not playing basketball. I'm not playing, I'm not playing box. I'm not playing hockey. I'm not a boxer. So this is the way I get that feeling because this is my sport. And this kid with ghosts, man, he's really trying to piss me off. So, once you feel that, like, especially for a lot of us veteran players that are older, like 21, 22, and are still doing this, once you get a taste of a championship, we want to keep winning. We want to have that chance to win. When we're playing, when we're grinding, we don't give a shit about most things. The main thing and the only thing we really care about is winning. And that's what really drives us to keep playing. Like, you, you guys have no, like, have no idea how many times I've been in shitty positions and how many times I've wanted to quit. And how many times I've been so close to quit, but every time I kept my head up, I'm like, I got this. I'm going to win again. And you guys have no idea. The, a huge reason is because I wanted to win. A huge reason is because the fans that always supported me and had my back. And no matter what, or no matter what shithole I was in, or no matter what position I was in, you know, a whole bunch of fans just always keeping my head up and helping me stay, stay, on, the, stay on the grind, stay on the same page. And I really appreciate that. And that's really like... Oh man, I just, the, the feeling of winning is just such an amazing feeling. And that's like a huge reason why I've quit. Because I know that if I quit, I'm throwing away my talent away. I think I have such a good chance of winning. I think I have the talent. I think I have the skill to do it again. So why would I throw this away? Why would I throw something I want to do so bad, something I love, something that makes me happy, and not even try? Give up. Because something didn't go my way. It's just, it's not the mindset you should have, right? The mindset you should be is to never give up, you know, keep going, keep trying until your very last breath, until you can't go anymore. And you will, in a video game, 
you know, it's it, there's almost not really anymore. It just it goes to the point until you want to quit, like until you want to retire, until you want to give up. But there's a difference if you're not happy anymore, if you're not happy playing, if it's just killing your mood, it's killing your days, killing your vibe. Then obviously that's a different story because I always believe also do what makes you happy. Now, if it's not making you happy and you don't even enjoy it anymore, then that's a different story. You know, giving up, it's not the biggest deal. But, you know, for someone who wants to win, someone who wants to feel that again, obviously, that's the that's the biggest reason. And that's something TP brought up, and that's something I'm talking about right now, is that we want to win. A lot of us veterans have won, at least most of us, uh, like half of us. And, you know, we just want that feeling again. That feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of fulfillment. It's such an amazing feeling. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, you know, get a get a small taste of it when you win a, a lot. Like I'm not saying a lot of you do, but when you win an online tournament or even a wager or something, something that's not not like obviously so big, but it's you still feel a little bit accomplished. You're like happy that you did that. Now imagine that times a hundred, like that feeling. It's just it's a great feeling, and that is like the biggest, biggest, biggest reason why us pro players still play. But other than that, you know, it's just like other small reasons. I mean, we've been doing this for so long. We've put in so much time into this that, like, it's, it's, it'd be, in a way, it's like you've done so much and gone so far and invested so much of your time, so much of your work into this one thing for years and years and years. And to just quit like that is just, it's not really worth it, you know. It's better to do that once maybe you have a college degree, maybe once you have, like, uh, a stable job on the side maybe you want to become a caster and stuff like that or you're gonna work towards that like then it's okay but us players you know this is what we re this is what we rely on this is what pays the bills this is what we focus on and you know depending if you're winning depending if you're doing good on tournaments it could be a hit or miss but you we have a chance we all have a chance to make a decent good amount of money obviously like i said if you're not placing good because it i mean I'm not gonna go too far into like salaries and and like yearly income and shit like that because obviously that's too far but I'm saying like if you're not placing too good then obviously you're not gonna be making too like a lot of money unless you're like the top three teams placing if you're, unless you're like top three out of every tournament including champs this year and plus you know optic makes a lot of money but other than that like this is what pays the bills this is what rely this is what we rely on and this is what we've been invested our time in it's like if you let's say I'm gonna give you guys a good example. Let's say you were to go to school for like seven. All right, let's go. Let's say no, it's too long. All right, let's say four or five years. You study this one thing, right? You're like, all right, this is what I want to be when I grow up. You know, you study it so long. You know, this is you, you put so much time in it. You you've dealt with so much shit. You you stressed out so many times. You know, there's times where you want to give up, but you kept going. And out of nowhere, you just hit a roadblock. You're like, well, shit. I I don't know if I want to do this anymore. It's, it's not going my way. I I think. You know, I might think of quitting after four or five years of this stress, hard work, wanting to give up so many times, but you never did. And you kept going and you kept pushing yourself. You just kept going, kept going. And all that for you to the last minute be like, all right, I'm just going to change. I'm going to change my major. I'm going to study something else. You're basically, it, other than, you know, learning a little bit and some experience and some stuff and stuff like that. Obviously, you can count that. But you basically threw away that time and it just goes the same for us gamers like we put five six years in gaming you know to, to go reach the top and this obviously isn't a skill like a skill skill but obviously we, we we're good at it and we can still do this for a while right this is something we fucking do with rk5 like in a way in a sense it's like that so why after let's say Let's say if I were to quit last year because something wasn't going my way, why am I just gonna give up like that, right? Like, that's that's some pussy shit, man. Look at this shirt right here. Don't be a pussy. I didn't want to show you this shirt. Obviously, it's a little vulgar, but that's straight facts, man. Don't be a pussy. Don't give up just because something isn't going your way. You're gonna. We're, we're all one day gonna hit a roadblock. And now, and now I feel like I'm I'm switching to a motivational speech out of nowhere, but. I just want to let you guys know this. Like, we're, one day we're all going to hit a roadblock. I've hit it many times. We're going to hit obstacles. And the... This RK5 fucker. And, and one day, you're, you're, you know, it, it's really going to be your decision. You, either for you to keep going or for you to give up. Now, there's obviously other things involved. You, we never know your, your like, situation. If, if you maybe, you know, something is 
really you can't do something you have to take care of your parents or you actually like you're not making money you have to help your mom pay the bills or something like that you know we all go through hard times we all struggle so that's obviously a different situation but all i'm saying guys is we put so much time in this shit that why just throw it away right now like unless we find something stable and you know after maybe a year or two obviously when we get a little too old then okay it's it's doable and also like i said we just want to fucking win man us pro players we're not we're not giving up yet man i want to win we all want to win that's how it goes either way guys i hope you enjoyed this live commentary this video boy apathy don't forget to all have a good day and i'm out peace